tarweed. And uh, tarweed is a wild sunflower. This one here. You can tell by the smell. You can just put your hands on it and smell it. And there's a couple actually looks like varieties here. There's this bigger one like this and then there's this smaller one. And if you touch them and they have a nice a strong scent to them, if you want, end up wandering through a big patch of it, you'll know it from the smell. And these are not uh, flowering yet though. Some of them will flower a little later. Some of this other variety here is getting ready to, to open up really soon. And then, um, maybe here's some flowers. And then there's another kind that doesn't have a scent that kind of looks like it. It's called gum weed. Um, but for our tribes, the, the sunflowers would be gathered, there'd be big big areas of these big open fields they like the open sunlight um, open areas and our tribes would uh, when they're ready to gather it usually about August um, it would it'll flower first and then it'll go to seed and then after that the tribes would burn the area so like this whole section here would maybe be burned um, in August or September and then they had the seed batters in the baskets and they just hit those uh, burned plants and the seed would just fall into the baskets and the, the burning process burned off the tarry substance um, that makes them kind of sticky um, and then the tribes had different ways of uh, sometimes that the outer shell was still on so they would put like hot coals into like an ash bark, bark it, bucket and then um, keep it moving um, those outer shells would crack open and then they had a way of winnowing it to remove them and then just be left with the seed and then the seed would be uh, ground up into flour and then oftentimes mixed with like uh, hazelnuts or berries and things like that sometimes made into cakes and saved for winter time like that but uh, within the Willamette Valley all of our Kalapuya tribes um, Pretty much all of our tribes in Western Oregon used uh, the tarweed as a, one of their primary food sources um, way into the Tecalma Rogue River country and Umqua and uh, Shasta. So the places you usually will find the tarweed is kind of like open kind of areas like this. It's kind of open, nice big open where there's a lot of sunshine. Um, and one thing about this plant was pretty much in the Willamette Valley, while it was very common uh, with the tribes' presence, after contact and removal of the tribes and agriculture and livestock, they essentially tried to eliminate this plant because of this sticky tarry substance and it getting onto the livestock and things. So um, today we'll find it like in scattered areas, open areas that have been disturbed or into in some of the natural areas. and. The tribe has been working uh, with different partners also to be sure that it's incorporated um, when there's restoration efforts in the valley happening.